like I'll, I'll have to be like, oh, what's the word for this? And they're like, okay, but try and use the words that we're learning right now. And it's like, okay, but the words we're learning right now can't tell a decent story, Cheryl. And based on those four things, I want you to tell me what kind of person you think he is. A bad one. <laughs> A massive pussy is the conclusion that I came to. This makes sense to me. Cause she told me that he drove a Prius and I lost my fucking mind. Cause that kind of car is like a- it's like a pregnant roller skate. It's tiny. And people who drive it are... Bobo players? I don't know. I- <laughs> I don't like, know. The second you said oboe player, I was like, huh, wouldn't be my first choice. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, so there's that. Yeah. <laughs> there's that. I'm just saying, like, all, all of the college stories, like, they're not even remotely related to me. It's just shit that other people have told me about. Yeah. Which I guess is kind of the point, but... I'm sorry, I don't know. I, I still love the fact that, like, you said, oh, you know, the way you, the way you, we college students meet each other is by sharing trauma. I would have been, if that was the case, bro, I would have been horrible if I went to college, like, IRL. No, I'm just saying, like, the first, okay, so let's, let's think about this. Like, I've got three friends, right? So right. my roommate, and then one girl in my history class, and then one girl in my Japanese class, right? Right. My roommate... Tells me about her ex-boyfriend all the fucking time. All the time, yeah. All the fucking time. My friend from my history class, she just told me about her ex-boyfriend, like, a few days ago. And, like, we had a conversation for, like, a pretty decent amount of time. And then my friend in my Japanese class, she's just, like, will casually mention that she, like, desperately needs, like, therapy or how she cried yesterday. <laughs> And I'm like, I like to imagine you guys are just talking about Jap like Japanese like history, and you're like, oh yeah, I, like that was that's such an interesting part of their history. And she's like, yeah, I need therapy. <laughs> like, like it won't lead into it. She just says it out of nowhere. So one time, uh huh, one time after class, um. We got lunch together, and it was really nice. I was I was looking forward to it. And I'm like, oh, this is gonna be so nice. Usually, I just like chill by myself, which is honestly my preference. But yeah, you know, change is good. And I was like, oh, this will be good. So I'm getting my sandwich, and she's just tagging along, and she's telling me about how she used to be in marching band. Mm -hmm. And no, not in. She was in the color guard. My bad. She's in the color guard. So she did like the flag spinning and stuff. And it's right. really impressive shit. And I was like, oh, that's fucking awesome. And then she tells me, like, the extensive history from freshman year to senior year. All of the injuries she got. <laughs> and how fucked, like, seriously fucked her legs are. Right. Because of color guard. And I'm just, like, trying to eat my sandwich, Audrey. Please. Please, bro. <laughs> Please, Please Andre, I don't need it right now. I love you. And I'm like, I'm just... She, like, gave me this book today, and I'm like, that's how you know that we're, like, friend friends, not just, like, passive friends. But, like, literally out of the top of my head, like, the three things that I know about her... Her legs are fucked from the car guard. She needs counseling, and then she works at, like, a doggy daycare. <laughs> and I'm just like... I don't want to bring up, like, my shit either, because it's like, I don't, it hasn't come up yet, and I'm not planning on, like, bringing it up, really, because I'm like, right. it's not fucking important, and I'm trying to be, you know, more than my mental illness. <laughs> right. So I'm just, I don't know. 
It's just, it's like, you know, like when people make like Tinder dating profiles and like I have depression, that kind of feels like the same thing where it's oh, like, why don't, when don't you're meeting get me started on Tinder, bro? <laughs> why is it that like when you are making a profile or like when you're meeting new people, the first thing that you want them to know about you is what's wrong with you? Yeah, I mean, okay. I, it's weird because I kind of get it. Because yeah. like, it's one of those things where it's like, Cliff Note. I have PTSD from when my boyfriend hit me across the face with a fucking, fucking, like, spear or whatever. Like, you know, <laughs> I, like, I get, like, that's something you might want to tell somebody. But, like, like, consistently being like, yeah, I need therapy. It's like... Okay, well, it hasn't been like that recently, because well, she's yeah. actually getting counseling and stuff, but that's kind <laughs> of, like, the first impression that I got. Yeah. And I was just like... Okay, I hope you get help. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Now, about Japanese history. <laughs> about, about Japanese, the class that we are currently taking, and we are both on the verge of failing. <laughs> how, about we, how about we pay attention for like two minutes, Audrey, and then you can tell me about these dogs and your broke ass legs. <laughs> God. I'm... How about we just pay attention to like Melanie for like 10 minutes? And then you couldn't tell me about this book you were reading the other day. <laughs> but right now, like, we both can't afford to not listen. So how about we shut the fuck up? <laughs> Just for a I'm second. Serious. I'm serious, bro. Like, I'm not gonna, like, like rub my own dick for a second. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Yeah. I'm doing, like, really well in all of my classes except for Japanese. I have a C. Except. And I'm just, like... <sighs> well, I mean, like... It could be. It's worse. a hard language, so I'm not beating myself up too hard about it. it. And worse. I can read it, and I can write it very, not very well, pretty well, decently. I'm passing. Yeah. That's the point. But I, I like speaking. It makes me want to have a heart attack. <laughs> so um. Yeah, Japanese is kind of that one one of those things where it's like if you say the word off by like one one like like letter, you could either mean I'm trying to go to the bathroom or I'm trying to kill this kid in my basement. <laughs> Okay, actually, there's a really good example of that. Yeah. One that we just learned today where the word, like, pen, like, it just, it's like one of those words that, like, they didn't have one for Japanese, so they just kind of, like, borrowed and then, like, translated over and, like, hiragana and katakana to, like, so they could use it and shit. Right. So, like, you have words like computer or mukuru, which is computer and milk, and you're like, e yeah. But the word pen... Mm -hmm. is like pain but if you have like so like the p e and then the n mm -hmm. like that makes the word right. but when you use katakana there's like a little dash between those two letters to kind of like draw out so instead of it being like pe it's pen you know right yeah so you don't actually need, like, the little dash between the P-E and the N, because if you have that there, it means pain. <laughs> I have pain. So, yeah, basically. And she like, told what? us that, like, a couple minutes before we took the test today. Oh, great. And I was like, thanks. I mean, like, she didn't put it on the quiz. She was like, that was my mistake. Spelling error. Don't worry, it's not on the quiz. We're all good. So, there's that. But I don't remember what the other one was I was thinking of. Yeah. That, just that was like the only one I can remember. That just That's reminds me of being right in now. Spanish class in high school. I hated doing it. Like, I loved my Spanish teachers. They were all cool. Yeah. I hated Spanish classes, especially like Spanish projects. Because, okay, I, I, I think I told you about this, but like, I always hated the projects where it's like you have to tell a story but in spanish because like 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 this is yeah. just me being a pretentious writer but it's like the stories i want to tell like I'll, I'll have to be like oh what's the word for this and they're like okay but try and use the words that we're learning right now and it's like okay but the words we're learning right now can't tell a decent story cheryl they can't <laughs> tell a good story they now, can't can tell they? A good story, now can they now can they like, I know how Nostro works, alright? But tell me the, the Spanish word for goose. 
Like I remember I one of the stories that I that I had for Spanish class. If I remember the story correctly, it was about a boy who uh had a magical goose. And he could call upon this magical goose to do anything, but the more and more he did it, the less and the 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 more and more his life began to be really shitty. And it's meant to be like a whole story about like, oh, be thankful for what you have or some bullshit or whatever. And like like everybody else's story was the exact same shit where it was like fucking Cassidy goes and drinks milk from the thing the end. Like I, I hate those. I, I get why the teacher has us write those because they are easy to understand in another language. I but I hated out. doing it because everybody else did it and I wanted to do something different. So I like I would be asking her cuz like obviously we can't use Google Translate. Yeah. Cuz why would we? I'm okay. I'm not going to lie to you. Um now that we're graduated and stuff like, you know, 2 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Um one of the last projects that I did for Spanish, I pretty much exclusively used Google Translate. <laughs> I because used, I used it too, not gonna lie. I'm just saying, like, I don't know what it is, but, like, I I didn't hate Spanish. It was just hard, and I don't want to say that, like, I understand Japanese more, but I think the fact that it's so different... Yeah. It, the language looks cool, so it's fun to write, and it's also That's fun true. to, like, pronounce. That's true. Definitely, like, makes me want to learn it more, even though I'm not great at it. Yeah. But, like, like, I, I, like, I, like, I, like, I, like, I'd be constantly asking the teachers, like, what does this mean? This, what does this mean? <laughs> not even fucking close. I'm gonna go get that. Not even close. Damn, what was far away but like I would be like, oh, what does this mean? What does this mean? And she would constantly be like, why don't we start using words that we're learning right now so you don't have to ask me? And it's like, why don't you teach me words that can actually tell a good fucking story other than fucking Jacob goes and jerks off in the bathroom? <laughs> How about that? How about that, Miss Teacher? How about that? Like, I want to tell like an actually good story here. And you're limiting what words I can use. Like, what the fuck? Like, do you see the problem here? Like, I get why. Again, I get why. But I hated it. And, like, my parents would always get pissed. It's like, it's just Spanish. It's like, no, it's not just Spanish. Spanish is a difficult fucking language to learn. Especially when I'm a fucking 15-year-old who doesn't give a shit about school. Mm. Like, motherfucker, I'm not interested in learning Spanish. The only reason I took the class is because you're supposed to. Because they it's forced required, us. I think. Which, a, a, again, I get I get why. Like, every other place in the world teaches them to, teaches them to learn English. So, yeah, we should probably require our kids to, to learn, like, another language. And Spanish is probably the most likely one that they are going to hear. And it's probably one of the easier ones to learn. But it's like, okay... It is ten times easier to teach a ten-year-old Spanish than it is for than it is to teach a fifteen-year-old. Because a fifteen-year-old doesn't give a shit about fucking anything. Like they just want to go home and play Call of Duty. They don't want to learn Spanish. That's a fair point. I think that's something that should change about schools and stuff. But don't you remember, like in like fifth grade, doing like, oh, excuse me, fucking hell, when doing like Rosetta Stone? Yes. I, so I guess that's like, yeah. But the thing is, there's that's a huge difference from what I, 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 to my knowledge, that's a huge difference from what they they do in other countries. Like yeah. instead of stone, it's just like you will learn. Oh, this is the word for phone. This is the word for this. It's like it, in those classes, like, <laughs> like imagine just a mix of that where it's like you're teaching fifth graders another language, but it's the way that they taught Spanish in high school for us or middle school for us. Mm. Like that would be so perfect. That's what most people do to my knowledge. Like, yeah, Rosetta stone was fucking awesome. I loved learning it. I loved learning Italian off of that shit. Cause that's what I chose. Yeah, me too. It, it was too. interesting. I don't remember anything. Like literally the only thing I remember is Arrivederci, but that's because everybody knows Arrivederci. Hey. Everybody knows hey. Arrivederci. Hey. Like, that's There's, it. Not to flex or anything, but... 
I'm gonna teach you something in Japanese real quick, okay? Okay. Are you ready? No, I'm drinking water. <laughs> it's cool. That's fine. But um, because we really are at like baby levels right now. Like we're actual twenty year olds, and this is the kind of shit that like <laughs> schoolers fucking know. Because we're saying shit that's like I often go to the library. Yeah. And so I think that, like, the fact that we now have, like, adverbs and verbs definitely helps, like, communicate more things. Because beforehand, it was just, like, really factual statements yeah. of, like, the library is over there. Like, placement. Yeah. So we were doing that for a long time, and now we're not doing, like, more advanced stuff. Because it's still really basic, but it's just, it sounds cool enough that you're like, oh, we're good. Somewhere you put the thing and then that and the hoot and the hot and you get the hoot. Hell yeah, fucking love that shit. <laughs> but the thing that's, um, like just straight up, first thing you gotta know about Japanese is that there are particles, which is basically like the at their when actually right. just like the at on it stuff like that. So those need to be in a specific order when you're making a sentence. Right. But everything else, so like the location, the adverb, the verb, the fucking nouns, like that doesn't matter because as long as the particles are in the same place, you essentially get the same point across. Yeah. Um, so you say like the first thing is like, I often go to the library, which is Watashiha, uh, Yoko Toshokan ni. What is that? Ikimasen. Mm -hmm. Which, so the Watashi wa is. Oh, fuck. Uh, I, d I forgot that okay. I was actually I was learning. Just, it. I was thinking. I was just, I was no, just listening. <laughs> I was no, 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 no. Okay. So it's like Watashi wa is like basically just like I yeah. am, which is like really basic stuff. And you can like, you can start a sentence with that, but you don't necessarily need to use use it because it's just like that that's another thing about japanese is that you don't always need to say like i am or i am doing this thing because you can just kind of infer it from like the like the rest of the fucking sentence right so you don't always start with like watashiwa 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 you can just kind of like straight go into the point so you could just start it with like yoku tokoshan yoku toshokan which is just like yoku is often and then toshokan is library right so the ni is a particle, so there's a difference between like stagnant particles and then movement particles. Right. So the stagnant is just like when you're just sitting in a place, not doing anything, and then movement is like when you know you're doing the shit, yeah, when yeah, you're yeah. doing the stuff. So like a movement particle is like ni, which is just like at or something like that, yeah. and then o is just like ch chilling. Chilling. So the thing about verbs is they're conjugated. Right. So the 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 word for this is like iku. Iku. Right. And there's the dictionary form, the present affirmative and then the present negative. Mm -hmm. So the present like the, the dictionary is is iku. Mm -hmm. And then the present affirmative is iki. Yeah, ikimasu. And then the present negative is ikimasen. Ah. So when you when you conjugate stuff, it totally depends on like what the last letter in the word is too, or like the last two word, right. last two letters. I mean, I'm sorry. So you have irregular verbs, ru verbs, or or u verbs, right? So. Ru verbs and with R U and then you just drop it totally. And then irregular verbs, you just have to learn that shit along the way. So it could <laughs> end with a ru, it could end with an oo, fucking nobody knows, you just gotta learn them. Just individual cases. Nobody bullshit. knows, you'll figure it out. You figure it out, go fuck yourself. So and then the thing with oo verbs is it ends with a vowel, which is, you know, you. And then what you do is you just they're they're like different like vowels so it's like a i e u o mm -hmm. or o u whatever and then you just kind of like move it one forward so if you're using if if, if like the word ends with u you move it over to o oh. 
Oh. And then it just kind of goes forward and on stuff like that. So, like I said, like... Actually, did I do that right? I might have totally just... Anyway. <laughs> let, me check. let me check. The Japanese listeners are pissed. You're like, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Get this away to pick you off the screen. <laughs> oh, no, I was right. I was right. Oh, yeah, it totally is the... What did I do wrong? Oh no, I was right. I was right. <laughs> so there's like other like verbs and stuff. I don't know if you're interested in like listening to any more of them, but I can keep going. Because this is honestly helpful, like help me study and stuff. <laughs> it's real studying hours. Actually, I want to get food real quick. Yeah. But tell the audience well, gonna... about Jeff. Okay. I'll, tell the... I'll keep telling the audience about that. So.